Darren, just to start off, we've had a bit of a break, had the weekend off last week, a bit more time to prepare for this one. How have preparations been going into this one? Obviously on the back of a good result against Ebsley, um, you know, winning football matches uh, always changes the mood in the camp. And, you know, there's been a good spirit about us. You know, we, we've done some done some work again um, for, for the lead into the final game. But it's all about the mood and the atmosphere which, which winning football match uh, winning football matches create. So attitude in the uh, training ground's been a lively place. Obviously based on the last result against Fylde, that must give us confidence going into this one hopefully that we can replicate that performance. Yeah, I mean, listen, it was a it was a good night for us up there. Um, I felt we was we was due a result up there because um, we played up there in the league and obviously the trophy last year. Um, felt a little bit hard done by, um, but it was a good night for us. But it'll have no bearing on on how we prepare and how we approach this game tomorrow. You know, they've they've had a change of manager, they've had a little change in fortune as well, change of system. You know. So they'll be a different team to the one we played against and obviously they'll be coming to put right what we've done to them on that night in, in Fylde. So, you know, we're, we're prepared and we're ready and, and looking forward to the game. Obviously that must make them a bit of an unknown package sort of coming into this one with all the changes that they've gone through over the past few weeks, months. Maybe the, maybe the style might be different, maybe their approach to the game might be different, but a lot of the personnel are very similar. Um, we know they're, they're, they're key players and they're dangerous players, so, you know, in that respect... Not too much will be different, um, and like I say every week, what what we've done is we've done some work in preparation for what they will bring to the game. Um, but a lot of our focus is on continuing the good work we done in the Ebbsfleet game, and you know, playing to our maximum, which is which when we do that, we give we always give ourselves a chance of winning the game. Everyone Mason Clark picked up concussion the other week um, away how's he looking now is he back out with the team no there's <clears throat> there's rules in place for concussion um, so he won't be back around us till the middle of next week uh, and then he will be assessed again but you know due to rules it's, it was too serious a blow Efron was in a in a real bad condition after the game so we're not going to take no chances but rules say it's got to be two weeks minimum so that'll be Tuesday Wednesday next week before he's around us uh, which is a shame because he was getting back to <clears throat> his dangerous best. Um, but this little break will hopefully give him time to reset his mind and, and come back stronger. Everyone aside, how's the rest of the squad shaping up going into this one? Yeah, I mean, we've got, obviously, Ricardo um, is is close now. He, uh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping will make the Weymouth game, but if not, certainly make the Maidenhead game. Um, Alfie, as we know, is is long term, but he's back in in the building and he's healing well. Um, Shaq is on the grass and running and and improving his fitness, but still gets a little bit of discomfort when he's striking a ball. Um, Medi had a little thigh issue that should be cleared up next week, and the only other one to add to the mix, which is a which is a real blow for us, is in this period where we haven't had a game. Um, Sweeney unfortunately collided with a keeper and suffered a facial injury which he's need to which which has led to him having an operation um, so unfortunately we won't be seeing Sweeney until the new year now